Hello everyone, hope you're doing really well. So today I am in um, Midway. I won't give away the location. <coughs> um, so, and please don't ask. If you do, I'll just delete it. And if you know this place, don't say it in the comments because otherwise it will just get eaten up. And I just, this one's actually quite <sighs> unstable. So let me talk to you about it. So uh, we'll have a look. This is it, by the way. There, there is nothing else of this. Um, so this was rumoured to be the start of a major tunnel, or it could have also been a defensive section. We're going to talk about a couple of other bits that are in the vicinity as well. So this is obviously going to be a like little bit of a plethora of a couple of other places. Well, I'll say a couple of others. It's one other actually. But what they've done, <clears throat> excuse my throat. You can see originally. This would have been an arch, and uh, <clears throat> at one point would have been some sort of tunnel or tunnel entrance. The problem is, is in historical records I can't find anything on this, and it's only because in the second place that we're going to go to is because my friend, her dad, had uh, played in the other section. Um, in fact, I think he mentioned playing in these as well, and they're referred to as tunnels. But um, it's interesting. So let me <clears throat> let me take you up to the top bit. <clears throat> so there's bits of pottery, <clears throat> but it's all been infilled, and somebody's clearly tried digging through that. Now I just want to let you know because I've already attempted to go up there. There is a hole there that looks deceptive, and uh, there's nothing. It doesn't go any further. And if we look up, I mean, this is rubble and masonry there was rumors of a collapsed tunnel at some point which led under which led under a certain important building in midway again not going to lead to that but it is pointing in that direction um so again who knows there's a pipe there right in front and a couple of like rickety old supports but when we look back oh, looking where i'm going you can see that it's uh Almost looks like a tram tunnel portal, but it's too big really. I mean, that's proper extensive. So yeah. And you can see that other people have been using it. Creating little holes for little lamps. In fact, I think that it's quite possible that homeless people were using this at one point. In fact, I think somebody had told me that it was being used for people to sleep in. But oh my God, if that's the case, I mean, it's just Midway, isn't it? It's unfortunate, you know, that we have this homeless crisis around this area and that people are having to use what they do. But the bricks are really old, and this is also what goes to the speculation that they reckon this might have been Napoleonic as, like, a secret fault tunnel that probably linked up to Chatham Dockyards and everything else again. I don't think so. But what I find really interesting is if you look at the historical maps, there is nothing on this. I mean, zero. Um, and that's what makes that really, really interesting. You know, there's no, the maps look clean, in other words. So the only other assumption would be that it's some form of quarry tunnel, but it, it just can't be. And the other thing that you look for, now this is something that you need to bear in mind on this. The bricks on that arch stop. And we know that this is reinforcing the chalk above anyway, when you look up at it. But if you look at the cut of the chalk, it's not even. Which would suggest that it was either done in a rush, or that it was never fully built to its potential. And you've got this brick here. Now, let me look at that, because I want to see how deep that is. So... There's a few, so it's a double bricked wall. There's the, I don't know if you can see that, but where that is, that's the edge of two brick phasing on there. In fact, actually that goes up to the next one. So that reaffirms that it was used as reinforcement. The bricks also look similar to the outer ring of bricks, which again makes me speculate that this might have been something more practical rather than actual 
military or anything else. Because what you'd see is you'd see bricks across here to reinforce the wall, but you don't. So that's what makes it interesting. Also, all the rubble and masonry that's down here is very different. Those bricks are modern to brick up the thing. You can see that. They've not done a great job of that, actually. Hence the entrance. I didn't do that, by the way. Um, never broke into a place in my life. And then you've just got this. And I think that all of this is just being used for homeless people and for people that around in the Medway area, again, not giving away a location. So just please be respectful on this. There's nothing much to this one, and I'm gonna take you to another one in a minute. Um, but that's it, everyone. I'll take you up one more time. You can see that there's a, there's actually that proves my point of the, the two brick effect. So that almost looks like a, so that looks Napoleonic to me, but I'm not gonna, I don't wanna speculate. Because there's too many rumours about all these types of places anyway, but if we look up, oh, it's very difficult to hold a camera and do this. You can see, and, uh, yeah, bit of cage in there. There's rumours, like I said, that this could have been part of a secret tunnel in which, in which it had, uh, collapsed. Again, if that makes sense, but then if it's collapsed, why would you put the two wall brick there? Why wouldn't it go above? And then if it went above, you'd be seeing scatters of bricks everywhere, which, okay, you're seeing them on the floor there, but that's not enough to suggest that that wall got smashed in. I don't know on that. Actually, that's even more interesting. Looks like there's two different types of brick there. You see, look, there's a different coloration. Might be the same, might be the same on that, but interesting. People have tried to dig holes down there and, yeah, it's just fascinating, isn't it? But uh, yeah, what a place, what an interesting place. Tiny, um, but I mean, yeah, I don't know is the answer. The answer is I don't know. Um, I, I think to myself, if it was a tunnel, you'd see the, the bricks if it was a proper tunnel, let's just put that in layman's terms, that brick would keep going, but this wall here is lower than the outer, and you need that to be consistent. You don't have a wall that just suddenly dips. Does that make sense, everyone? It's perfect arch, though, however. So, who's to know? That's just my guess, it's my assumption. So was it Napoleonic? Was it a former secret tunnel that got collapsed? All I know is that my wonderful friend, her dad remembers playing in these. And uh, yeah, who knows? Could have been an aero shelter. But again, I've seen no labeling on it. Sometimes that's common. Sometimes if they're really local, like communal ones, communal ones, sometimes they won't necessarily label them because they're just natural. In other words, they're just a natural cave or a natural little tunnel that nobody really speaks of, but they'd use it in World War II to sort of be practical. And they wouldn't label it because it was really for the local. It might have only been used for it by a couple of people. Um, but that's it. I'll take you and show you outside in terms of the, because I don't want to give away location, but I'll show you from what I'm looking at from the inside and then go from there. So that's it really. So uh, let's get out of here. Come on. Right, so here I am outside. Um, kind of a bit back to front really, isn't it? Where I'm in and then I'm out. And, but that's where I'm looking at. But if I just show you this, you can see that there is a perfect arch of where this was in field. So at one point this was an arch, but for what purpose I have no, no idea. It's actually quite more, it um, looks too small to be a train. That's the thing. 
So it definitely looks more like a tunnel, but I mean like a, a sort of like a tunnel in the truest sense of the word. Um, but very, very interesting. It just looks too small to be a train tunnel. Well, obviously I've been in plenty and that's no way is that designed for that, I don't think. It's just too small from side to side, from left to right. So it's got to be some form of tunnel which makes it more interesting, which could ideally put it back into the Napoleonic phase with the modern brick. There's the, there's the original brick there, which is those black ones. So yeah, I'm very curious about this. But either way, it's obviously used as a rebuttal to stop the chalk from falling in anyway because you've got it completely extending over the top. So yeah, interesting. So, there you go. Right, so, whew, too close. Uh, let's move on and I'll show you the other couple of things. Come on. Right, hello. So this is number two and then we've got, I'm gonna call them three and four, which are the twins at the bottom, which uh, I think most people know about actually. But obviously I'll try not to do it because then it'll give a low way location of the other stuff, I suppose. But um, here we are. And this is a, uh, interesting oh because it doesn't go in that far as you can see that's it but what you notice is this massive concrete uh roofing on here or cap with a lot of debris and infill but with no real entry point into it it's just dead and uh yeah, you've got this concrete here, which looks semi-modern. So I wonder on this one, if it was just a natural cave fall, and what they've done is, they've just put this cap over the top. It might not have meant that it was an air raid shelter or anything like that, because again, when you look in, although, see I'm looking with the eye of faith, this here, it's a lot of rubble there. Doesn't mean that that's part of it though. It just looks a bit too dirty to me. Oh, if I stand up. There is an old Coke bottle there though, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they belong to this. I'm being very negative about this. But um, yeah, that's a concrete cap, so who knows on that one. But like I said, it's just very possible that this just could have been just something to reinforce this. It could have been a natural cave at some point part of some quarrying but when you look inside it does go in a little bit but I'd expect to see something more tangible to sort of make me sort of feel that it was maybe something a little bit special is what I'm trying to think of like the word but uh, it's interesting nonetheless and the first thing when I saw that was like oh that's like a quarrying sort of tram tunnel top normally not normally but it looks something very substantial industrial but um it might not be nothing at all but either way that's interesting so uh yeah number two ticked off let's go right and here we are in the last two which are very obviously look Napoleonic to me. <laughs> so that's really interesting. Again, I've found no history on this. There's a little fuse box there. See, these look like um, they could have been part of the Medway lines. How interesting, this hook's up there. I wonder if this is also repurposed into World War II. Let's have a look in here. JC Hazards and Health. I think this was clearly being used for storage for the trains, but if you look here, I'm sorry, I'm just, oh god blimey, get in. This isn't the fanciest video you've ever seen in your life, so let's not try and kid ourselves everybody. That's interesting, so there's two different colours there. I wonder if this was 
Uh, isn't that interesting? Interesting, very, very interesting. And these were the ones that my my friend had said that her dad used to play in the, I wanna say it was the 60s, late 60s. Forgive me on that if that's wrong. So either way, we know that it will date earlier than that, if that makes sense, but it, obviously it does. But it just looks Napoleonic to me. And then it obviously gets converted into sort of some, could be potentially World War II. I mean, you've seen some lighting there and obviously fuses. And then obviously now it's being used as some, well it was, being used as some really crappy storage. I'm assuming probably for the stuff that's around, but there's a lot of different planks of wood here and everything else. What interests me though is, is that in there? There is a distinct light blue color compared to the white on that side so hmm interesting very very interesting no idea like i said i can't find anything on the records and when you look on the maps when i've looked on the maps it doesn't mean that obviously i know everything because obviously i don't but on the maps i couldn't find anything that suggested anything different to what was here so again no idea but very interesting nonetheless see look there's See, there's some, that's cabling there, look, a cable, which puts that almost into World War II territory again. And there's a light there, like a little fuse light. Little hooks, hooks there. Really, really interesting. I'm sure a lot of people out there know, and um, I just like the idea that for once, for, oh crap, for once, once I've gone into a place, or a couple of places, I actually have no idea on what they were used for. And, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. I don't think there was any air raid showers that I know of that were here, but, no, there were, but they were in residential areas. So, again, no idea. But this fuse is beautiful. Let's lift it up. And there's a switch. So it definitely had lighting, which you can see up there. But that's it. And I'm assuming that these doors, well, the, you can see the outer part. I mean, they would have been original, which again suggests that that could have been repurposed into a World War II shelter. No idea though. People are probably screaming at me, going, I know what it is, I know what it is, but please, please, I implore you. Just keep it in the comments. We'll leave this one as me trying to figure something out. First time I've ever really done it on channel. So just let me have some fun and figure this stuff out. But uh, yeah, and I don't mean to be harsh when I say, oh, I'll delete the comments if you do. You understand that on this channel, nine times out of 10, I give away locations. Just respect that on this occasion, I'm sure you know it. And if you do know, like I said, just keep it to yourself. But either way, nice few finds. And it's uh, pretty cool. And, and by the way, there's no way I'm climbing to the back just to prove a point. I mean, that's ridiculous. But you never know, it might be that somebody uh, at some point might want to convert this into some sort of um, shop or something. You never know. It's a good area for it. Right. And this is a hole up there. But for the life of me, I don't see the point in climbing that unless I'm missing out on something major, which probably I am. But there's always going to be a second part. I've done enough climbing into places for today. And at least on that one, that looks way wider than the one that I went to. <laughs> Always gives me confidence if I sneak into a sort of slightly smaller hole than I think I can fit into. Because I think, oh, I'm maybe not be as, I'm not as fat as I clearly think I am. <laughs> but yeah, look, here's some lysine. With the wire still attached to cord. So again, that probably dates that to World War II. So yeah, nice. Right, well, for a bit of fun in your more words of Phoenix history, thank you so much for watching. Love to all of you out there. Sorry it's not my traditional video, but hey, this one's interesting, isn't it? Take care no matter what you're doing, I'll see y'all very soon. Take care everybody, bye for now, ready? Woo, kapow, boom.